the three things you need to know about change. Would you say that the pace of change has increased, decreased, or is about the same? Personally, it feels like the pace of change is faster in some areas and slower in other areas. Regardless of your answer, I wanna explore how you deal with change. First, let's define change. It's one of those things that you know when you experience it, but you might not have the words to explain it. So here's a definition for you. Change is any planned or unplanned shift in the way things are now. It has to do with our expectations that things will stay the way they are. It's the normal that we're used to, and until something happens to disrupt the status quo, change can be positive or negative. When change happens, it requires an adjustment process. Change includes everything from a new job or a new boss to an organizational shuffle, starting school or a new program, joining a group, leaving a group, updating your lifestyle, choices in diet, movement and sleep. We deal with changes every day. Whether it's a change in your personal life, professional life, or in the world around you, there's a variety of ways that you can respond. Here are some strategies for responding to change. Shrink, denial, or rethink. Shrink. Recoiling or withdrawing from change is one response. This puts you in an adversarial position with change. You know that you're responding this way when you start saying things like, when can we go back to the way things were? Or I'm tired of this, I want a normal life. Denial is another way you may find yourself responding to change. I remember the first time I lost my job, it was a complete and total shock. For the first day, I kept thinking, it's not real, that didn't just happen. Pretending the change did not happen may make you feel better until reality hits. Denying change does not make it go away. It's simply a delay of responding to the change. If you, like me, hear yourself saying, that didn't really happen, or this too shall pass, then you're using a denial strategy to respond to change. Rethink is a healthy and constructive way to respond to change. When you change your perspective, you'll see that change creates opportunity. Examine the change from a new perspective and determine the best next course of action to leverage the opportunity. The questions you ask when choosing this response include, what can I learn from this? How else can I think about what just happened and what is the best thing that could happen as a result of this change? I was privileged to be a founding board member and a past president for the Global Association of Change Management Professionals, or ACMP. During our inaugural conference, one of our speakers was Admiral Thad Allen of the U.S. Coast Guard. He served as the leader responsible for coordinating everything around Hurricane Katrina. This was a devastating storm that displaced hundreds of thousands of people in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. He was a brilliant speaker, sharing about his strategies for leading through change. He made this profound statement. Change is like the weather. It happens. Whether you pull back, deny a change happened, or rethink the change, you have a choice in how you react. The power you have is in your decision. When you're confronted with change, choose your response intentionally. Don't shrink, rethink. To get more tips like this, subscribe below to our YouTube channel and join our weekly reader list to receive Tuesday's tremendous tips and email with bite-sized insight on all things life and leadership. Bright on with Brighton Leadership.